Hey, what's up, chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a range test on the Esels 5 Star. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Didn't you already do a range test? Well, yeah, I did a range test in my initial ride, but today we're going to be doing more of my official standardized range test that you may have seen me do on those other 60 volt e bikes. The standard is pedal assist 3 only, and I use the throttle as needed, but I will always be in pedal assist 3 the entire time. If I use pedal assist 2 or 4 or 5, even for just one second, that means I have to start over from scratch and we do the whole entire test over again. So anyways guys, that's enough small talk. What do you say we go ahead and get this thing out there on the road and see how many miles we can get? Come on guys, let's go. Oh, I gotta get on the bike. All right guys, we are off. I started off at 66.5 volts. You know, the weird thing is it was at 67 volts and then I brought it across the street here without turning on the bike and now it's down to 66.5 so hey you know whatever maybe it's the change in elevation you know i was kind of dreading doing this but you know what guys i've been riding the emoto a lot lately and uh you know i decided you know i need to get outside i need to get some exercise so perfect reason to do this range test now if you remember i've done this range test on the other brand the cruiser and the freedom and i got a total of i think 38 miles on the uh freedom and it was like 34 on the cruiser, but that was uh, with Tannis tire inserts. I switched out the Tannis inserts and now I'm running flat out. I have not had a flat since I've had flat out either. Whenever I ride right here, I read the comments in the videos and people are like, oh, he's riding against traffic. You know, it's terrible. It's not safe. Well, guys, look across the street. Do you notice anything over there? That's right. There's no shoulder at all. Look how big the shoulder is right here, right? At least I can see the cars coming towards me and have a chance to avoid them. Over there, this is a 40 mile, 40 mile an hour speed limit and there's no shoulder at all. Don't think it bothers me, I think it's entertaining. I think the bad comments are funny. I'm all for trolling, but yeah, I think it's funny. I think it's a good, clever troll comment is funny. And uh, so far I've just been getting like, these people are just seem like they're just miserable and mad at the world. Oh, that video was rushed. What a stupid video. It's like, oh wow, what a real original funny comment. The funniest one that I had recently on a Hovsko Porto Max scooter review video, his comment was, whenever I hear somebody cursing right away, it makes me lose respect for them. And then he, I forget what else he wrote, but it's like, because you know, I start off my video saying, hey, chitheads, welcome back to the channel. So not only am I not cursing, but even if I did, I was saying shit. So like, like that guy's life is so fragile that hearing the word shit just like derailed him and upset him enough to leave that comment. I thought that was so funny. I imagine everything was just going great in his life. And then he heard what he heard assumed to be the word shit and everything just started going down from there. He was extremely triggered. His wife got mad at him, left him, everything. He got fired from his job all because he heard a curse word on the internet. You know, it's not like I open up my video saying, hey, what's up you face welcome to the fucking channel piece of shit. that was a, that one gave me a good laugh guys so don't think i'm like uh the haters are bothering me or these comments bother me they don't i think they're funny and i like to talk about them because uh it's you know it's something to talk about while i'm on these rides and i think it's just entertaining i think j fly's comments are entertaining because they're so ridiculous so why not talk about them so this is my standard range test course I think I'll be doing uh, doing this range test on, you know, bikes that I think people will want to know the range on. I'm not gonna do this on every bike, but you know, the big ones I'll do it on. So it's about time we take out the old five star. I heard a bad word on the internet. I was so offended, I fell down the stairs and my shoes fell off. Oh, I'm sorry, let's uh, get a petition to remove all curse words from the internet. So here's normally where I will update you on how many trailers are out here. But if you'll notice, there's no trailers at all. And up here, I wanna show you the, the measures the city went to to make it so people would stop parking their trailers out here. So first here, they dug a trench out, and then now within the last week or two, they put all these huge boulders in here to prevent people from stopping with their motorhomes and their trailers and parking right here. So in one of my videos, I think I counted up to like 48. There was 48 different sets of trailers parked along this whole area. It was uh, pretty bad. But uh, you guys seen enough of these rocks? Let's, uh, I'll catch up with you in a little bit when there's something to update you on.
illegal dumping is a crime. Isn't that implied by the name illegal? You guys, is it funny this time? Do we need to say it every time we come here? You guys, check this out. I took a little detour there. And how, look how many goat heads are in the tires here. There's so many of them. These are the worst things ever made. So this will be a first real test of a flat out. It was so bad I could hear them running, rubbing against the concrete. Let's continue, shall we? Oh my gosh, guys, you know what I just realized? I never reset the odometer for this trip. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of math and unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to really update you on the road here because you know what guys, look, what is this engineering explained? Hey, look, I'm not that professional obviously, okay? So right now we're at 93.4 miles. Uh, I'm gonna have to check on the odometer when I first started and see what the mileage was. Do some math later on, but I'm gonna reset the odometer right now where it's at 93.4 and then uh, we're gonna see what we get. Guys, hey, you know what? If you want to unsubscribe, I don't, I don't blame you at all. You know, do what you got to do. This is a pretty cool little 3D map in this um, park by the river here. This is Contra Costa County in California, which shows all the elevations and everything. This is where we're at right here. That's Mount Diablo. It's kind of cool, huh? This must be what Godzilla feels like when he walks around. Hey okay, guys, we're leaving the marina. Now we're going to do the little detour here, which is an unrestricted move because we're technically not supposed to be riding bikes on here. But you know, we don't always follow the rules, do we? Still so disappointed that I forgot to set the odometer. You know, I had one thing to do today, guys, and uh, I didn't even do it right. You know what's funny is uh, I have another bike coming in and yesterday, Saturday, it was supposed to be delivered and I waited around all day for FedEx to find the time in their busy schedule to deliver it and only for them to leave a note about six o'clock at night saying, we tried to deliver it, but sorry, we missed you. Like, oh man, they wasted my entire day. I waited around for them and I cannot tell you how frustrating that was because I would have done this range test yesterday. So I wish there was more options for delivering these e-bikes than just FedEx. So I don't know about you guys, but FedEx to me is the worst of the three carriers. Or four carriers rather. UPS is pretty consistent. Uh, USPS for me at least is nice because my building has a lobby and they have a key to the lobby so they can get in while the other carriers can't. And uh, Amazon, by the Amazon will hunt you down and give you your package whether you want it or not. So Amazon somehow came along and started a delivery company within the last few years that by far is better than all of them. I get most of my packages in the Bay Area one day or two days. So man, Amazon's awesome. And then there's FedEx. FedEx doesn't care. Let's get some more miles into this and uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. So I know typically this is about 10 miles into the ride. The uh, odometer is showing about 4.2 miles now. So you know it's not going to be completely accurate, but we'll uh, we'll total it up at the end. As of right now, we're at 62.5 volts resting. I'm kind of predicting this is going to get less range for a few reasons because uh, the potted controller maybe it's going to consistently put out more wattage, and this bike is a little heavier. So we'll see though. 38 is the uh, number to beat. When you start riding around your e-bikes all the time, you'll start to notice that the, the uh, conditions of the trails change quite a bit. I mean, obviously the asphalt doesn't change here, but the water will change quite a bit. Sometimes a year, the water, there's nothing growing down there. But what I do like seeing a lot through here is there's usually just hundreds of turtles you'll see throughout the ride. They're just sitting out there sunbathing, having the time of their life. One nice side effect of waiting for FedEx is I decided to stick my lawn chair out front and get some sun to try and even out this ridiculous farmer's tan I'm going to have. You know, the amount of uh, riding I'm probably going to be doing this summer, I'm already going to have like ridiculous 
contrast in my legs from where the shorts are at. And on my arms, I obviously already have a farmer's tan, so I try and wear the tank top to level it out a little bit, but we're gonna have to do some serious work so I don't look like completely ridiculous. I love having a nice tan. Just feels good getting outside and getting some sun too, guys. We're supposed to get sun. Oh, we're just zipping right along right now. 29 miles per hour, cooking. I know some people like to say that, you know, once you start riding the E-Motos, you're not gonna wanna ride the bike. That's not true at all, guys. I still enjoy pedaling. It's just a different type of riding. And plus, you know, this section of the trail right here is a little more uh, populated than the other section, so I don't really wanna ride the E-Moto through here. I definitely still like pedaling. I like getting a workout. I like getting the blood moving. I like being outside, so. Don't think just because you have multiple styles of bikes, you're not gonna, you're just gonna stop riding the other ones. Dirt bikes, street bikes, BMX bikes, cruiser bikes, trikes, tandem bikes, uh, gravel bikes, mountain bikes, beach cruisers. I think that's pretty much all I could name. So I think we could stop there. Did this on my other range test, so I gotta be consistent. This is where I kinda see some kids riding their Surons around. And I use the throttle through here. Hopefully the trail is in a better condition today. Because the last time I went through here, I got <laughs> quite a bit of shrubbery rubbing against my legs. And it's warmer now, so there might be some snakes out as well. So we just gotta be careful, guys. I guess you don't really care because you're watching a safe, in a safe location, I'm guessing. But me, no, I'm out here right in the elements. Whew. Yeah, the trail is a little easier to find through here though today. <laughs> or what little trail there actually is. <sighs> Let's just power through it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're cosplaying as a lawnmower yet again on our e-bikes. All right. Back to civilization here. And my ankles are itching because I can tell there's a foxtails in my socks now. Yep. Look at that. deep in downtown Brentwood right now. This is a really, as you can tell, this is a really rough area. They do farmer's markets here on Saturdays. It's just, oh man, this is like my worst nightmare being in a place like this. People wave at you, hey, how you doing? Ugh. Amazon, best delivery service. That concludes our tour of downtown Brentwood. Now, uh, catch up with you guys in a little bit when we're at the halfway mark. All right guys, we are at the halfway point now. This is typically where I'm at 20 miles on these rides. And right now the odometer is saying 13.4. So I think we're about 20 miles right now. And this brings me to a point guys, you know, when you watch this channel, you have a couple things you can expect. Professionalism, uh, scientific accuracy, and uh, just straight up facts with absolutely no humor whatsoever you know just like all those other e-bike channels but uh we are at 59.7 volts we're gonna start heading back towards my house at this point and uh we'll see where uh we're gonna see where this all ends up guys new favorite parts of the trail here. It's brand new overpass. It looks like people are actually using it. Wow, look how pretty it is, guys. Now, I used to go a few blocks down that way and have to cross over these couple major intersections, but this lets us bypass all of that, so I guess the range course is slightly different than its original variation. But you know what, guys? Life is all about adapting and changing and 
this is the new course now. I just need you guys to deal with it, okay? All right, we're at 57.4 volts at rest. And uh, we're back on our way now. It looks like we're down to one bar. I know I'm, the first time I ran this thing all the way out, it looks like it goes all the way down to 49 volts. Where I believe the other brands are set by default and shut off at 50. So we'll see how that translates in the range. I think right now we're about 26 miles, if I had to guess, using my math. It's a nice day to be out and about. I know towards the end, once it starts getting into the you know, mid 50s, lower 50s, the voltage just starts dropping exponentially faster than it, than it does when it's in the 60s, that's for sure. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it. Freedom! Wait, I can't say that. Let's just keep trucking along, guys. Oh, look here, we got a turkey. Look at all the little baby turkeys with it. This mama turkey's not gonna attack me, though. It can be quite bold, guys. You gotta show no fear when it comes to those turkeys. They'll chase you off if you if you show them one ounce of fear. Those turkeys will uh, capitalize on it for sure. It's weird, just a couple of weeks ago, this was all green. It all went from green to brown in like one week. And if you look over here to the left, this is the world's famous skate park. And that is the Bowl of Doom, as some people have labeled it, where a certain e-bike person got stuck in there and had a really hard time getting out with his e-bike. Don't follow his example and uh, don't go into the swimming pools at skate parks. Guys, we are at one bar, 54.8 volts under cruising. Winds out of the northwest at about 12 miles per hour. Update time, guys. We are at, uh, guessing right about 30 miles and we are now at showing zero bars. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down in the pedal assist two. Oh, we're flipped back up to two, one bar now. in the neighborhood to the Antioch agility course here and we are at 54 volts resting and I think we're at about 32 miles right now I'm gonna go burn off some more range we're gonna hit up the planks of doom what do you say guys you up for the challenge this is that part of the ride where you know I'm kind of ready to be done with it to be honest I've been going back and forth between pedal assist three and two we're still trucking along. I definitely noticed the power level has decreased quite a bit. I haven't been out here in a few weeks. So let's get to see what kind of condition the trail is in. Looks like there's been a fire out here. Huh. I see a burnt shopping cart out there if that lets you know any you know, indication of how that fire started. 53.7 volts on the battery. Okay, so far so good. Looks well manicured. A couple stragglers almost got me there. Planks of Doom are in great condition right now. Looks like they just came through here and cleaned it all up. Sometimes there'll be a couple uh, thorn branches that like to go right out in the middle of the path. Which can be quite jarring when you're in the middle of riding because you have to react quick and uh, choose how you want to avoid it without trying to fall off your bike. Oh wow. Easy work of the Planks of Doom today. That's probably the, one of the best conditions I've ever seen that trail in. Let me go back up to pedal assist three here. And we have now entered the wetlands. This is what I'm talking about with the rogue vines that'll sometimes be right in the middle of these paths. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'd like to get by now. We're getting there. We're in the very deep home stretch now. 50 volts 50.5 now under load i'm in pas2 i am 100 percent ready for this test to be over with guys i want to show you this up here there's this little game i like to play here there's this is curb coming up and my goal one of these days is to make it all the way across this curb oh gosh without coming off oh my gosh i think i might do it right now oh my gosh i did it wow Wow, guys, I'm telling you, I've never even gotten past half point on that. I just did it that time, documented. Wow, I'm so proud of myself right now. 
check it out i just rode across this whole entire thing in one take i've tried this guys i came out here multiple times and tried to recorded myself trying to do that over and over and over again i can't believe i just did that the first shot maybe it's because i wasn't thinking about it i don't know but that is much harder than it sounds it's because i use the more you think about it the more you want to come off that thing but wow i'm so proud of myself right now guys i'm like the coolest person in the whole world so close no matter how far this couldn't be much more from the heart, guys. Oh, battery is dead. Call it right here. We are at 31.4 miles. We're going to have to do some math, but I will catch up with you guys uh, from my house. All right, guys, we are done with the ride. We are back at Chitty HQ, and uh, we got stopped at 31.4 on the odometer, plus the 6.1 that I had to figure out after the fact leaves us at a total of 37.5 miles. So what did we learn by that? First off, we learned that uh, YouTubers like to hold mics in their hands like this. It's a lapel mic. I could clip it onto my shirt and be seamless and work just as well. Second off, we learned that uh, Flat Out works extremely well and as you saw, I had about 20 or 30 goat heads in each tire, and I don't think I lost any air pressure whatsoever. Third off, we've learned that uh, some people cannot tolerate hearing even the slightest bit of profanity, and it can totally ruin their life. Fourth, we've learned that FedEx is by far the worst of all the shipping carriers. Fifth, we've learned that, uh, you know, a 60 volt e-bike with a 40 amp controller and 20 amp hour battery is going to get roughly the same range as another e-bike with a 60 volt 40 amp controller with a 20 amp hour battery so i have to say 37.5 mile range is very good uh, that's going to be more than uh, the majority of people are going to be willing to ride so anyways guys uh i hope you liked watching the video if you didn't enjoy it leave a like and maybe even leave a comment don't forget to like comment share subscribe guys and we will catch you in the next one oh yeah and uh you FedEx.